Soon for no, no, yap about Nasi, I will say your word. O sire, Coconato, Tanatia, Catano, Shapatoyo, Coconato, Siri, Pano Nenico. Niato, no napadi, Irovir, Coni Ugnawa de Ear. Okay, so it's changed. Isana Yuyo, go near Pook no son could not know one and Napier. Hm. Sata Tower ear, one hour poor could no so could near our fawa ear so talk. Ah. Would no wear na no ba ear so. Isana Yuyo, go near Pook no son could not know one and Napier. え、そうミスだ。ポ。ノイルウォブズウェサウシン。ウォケワサイエルソウソコウヨニウクサイエルサワ。イパナルノコイワイエル。ミカサナリエ。イロロニノワサイエルカナ。トニエニウォシネフォ
We might be able to stop him from getting that report without hurting Shen or anyone else. It's up to you how we handle this. <coughs> Remember that the Inquisitors aren't just thugs, more subtle. Yeah, exactly. We have to be careful about this thing. Total legs. I like that how it's even more of an insult because they're harder to find. So it's like, you went out of your way to insult this person, to really piss them off. Whereas anyone could just get a bit of shit. Oh, God's sake. I just want to speak to the people, alright? What? I remember one time I was hired by two warring clans. They were going to discuss a peace treaty. And they wanted me to make sure things didn't get out of hand. No, that's a mistake. A bunch of fights broke out in the first few days. But after I killed a few dozen of their clansmen, they settled down. <laughs> that's when things got boring. Well, I guess you did your job then. The leaders took the next three days to talk and talk. And if they hadn't let me dip into their wine stocks, I might have snapped sooner than I did. Oh, God. Yep. It's only if you didn't interfere with that meeting. Not really. I just helped things progress a little faster. That's all. Oh, God. The clan leaders were agreed on peace, except for one thing. Jin Lo, a beautiful clanswoman. Both leaders wanted her, and neither would give her up. Uh-oh, I see where this is going. After five days, it looked like the peace would fall apart. It looked like the two leaders were about to come to blows over Jin Lo. So I stepped in. It was my job to stop them from fighting. So, I cleaved the wench. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking at all. Bloody hell. I, <laughs> I I thought he was going to say so then I took her or something like that. But no, no. He <laughs> He cleaved her in two. Fucking hell. He could have at least start, like, done the reference to the Bible where he could have threatened to split her in two. If it, if she really mattered that much to them over their peace talks. Hey, old brute. It was easy. She was small, and my blades are extremely sharp. But it didn't really help. No, I didn't think it would. They weren't too happy with my decision. Everyone turned on me. Of course they all died, but they gave it a good effort. <laughs> I don't know what they were so upset about. Better a quick death by the sword than the prolonged agony of your heart being ripped from your chest and thrown to the dog. For my sake. Too much talking and thinking can be dangerous. I should know. You don't know though. What? I was supposed to make sure the pests stayed out of the sacred pools, but hunting rats one at a time is boring work. So I had an idea, a way to catch them all at once. Uh oh, here we go again. I convinced the monks to give me some of the sacred wine, and I filled the sacred pool. I figured if I could get the rats drunk, they'd be so much easier to catch. Ah. <sighs> But that, but that undermines the very point of not getting them into the pool in the first place. <laughs> Can't believe you got that strong. Nothing truck. happened at first, so I helped myself to the wine. I passed out before the rats came. In the middle of the night, I was woken up by screaming monks and fiery explosions. <laughs> it was just the rats. The poor furry buggers were just trying to get warm near the monks' fires after their swim in the wine. <laughs> combination. Oh, great. <laughs> so, so he felt a place of explosive rats. Oh, my God. The monks want to be gone. I might have deserved the blame. But the abbot insisted it was a sign from the gods and closed the monastery. See what happens when you think too much? Uh, you didn't think enough, clearly. <laughs> this is by far the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Whatever. <laughs> it 
doesn't give a shit. Eh, so what? Always happy to help. What do you need? See, what's on your mind? I was thinking about a story my father once told me. He was a scoundrel, but he could spin a fine yarn when he wasn't robbing caravans. <laughs> Have you ever heard the tale of the Eternal Companions? Cancer I have? Pull this boy to mind. The Eternal Companions were a group of warriors that traveled the ancient kingdoms well before the formation of the Empire. Huh. They were said to be giants, to know styles no one could match, to always appear to offer their services to a kingdom when times were worst. Were these warriors real? The tales are too fantastic to be accurate, though I'm sure the Black Whirlwinds tried at least once. No one can actually cleave a mountain in two. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he had a story where he actually attempted that. What made me bring this up was just a simple thought. Were these companions real people once? Were they just like us? <laughs> hmm, that's a thought. History often does become legend. And legends and mythologies usually have a grain of truth in them. Something tells me they were, but not in the way you'd expect. You know how legends tend to grow in the telling? I think they also absorb other tales as they go. Hmm, true, true. I think what we're doing is just another version of the tale? I doubt it. For instance, we have yet to wipe out a rival kingdom. Failing that, I'm a bit shy of 12 feet tall. <laughs> the point is that when things are wrong, people believe that someone will do something about it. Whether we succeed or not, we are those someones right now. Mm, I wish that were the case, because then fucking England would probably change its way in various other countries, but... Uh... More importantly, you're the someone. You're the real reason we're together. And I worry about how much of this rides on your shoulders. Hmm. That's kind of what I feel about you, Geek, sometimes. It might, you might be taking a bit too much on. How much of it might be on your shoulders in trying to dismantle the systems? Because uh, it's a difficult system. It's a difficult thing to dismantle. Like I said, it's like it's like trying to pull pull out a rotten tooth. It's not going to give way easily, and you're going to cause a lot more pain before it's out. You're important to me in many ways. I just want you to know that I'll do anything I can to help. Anything, just to ask. Oh God, are they coming on me now? Bloody hell. Piss off. Uh, is there any room plan to change? <clears throat> well, that would be terribly out of character, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. No changes are planned on my end. Yeah, it's us. Yeah, I get that. But yeah, it's not easy. It is like I said, it's like it's gonna be like trying to pull out a uh, rotten tooth because it's gonna cause it's gonna cause problems on the way. It's like I was speaking to um I was speaking to uh, Casey on Twitter the other day from um uh, from a group of uh, people with like um. A lot of other people, they have like an autism talk and stuff, and she was saying that quite a few people seem to forget that when you try and take down the government, then people with disabilities are kind of fucked over. And I was kind of agreeing that, yeah, you can't just knock down a government and be all like, yep, everything's fine, nothing's going to be happening, <laughs> everything is fine, there's going to be no problems after this. You know what I mean? But yeah, that is true. Just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not worth doing. Don't it doesn't do more. We'll talk again soon, I promise. For now, let's get back to it. Yes? How can this humble bond master assist you? And yeah, what are thoughts of the situation? Now what did you become a bad master? No, I we already done that one. Uh, what are thoughts of the situation? I still can't believe it's that easy to be. I'm a Lotus assassin. If I had known sooner, I would have joined their ranks as soon as possible. Probably get away from the wife. Would be brutal work with little reward and 
There's a good chance I die a hideous, painful death. But it couldn't all be better than Mary Life, could it? <laughs> that's, that shows you his opinion of his married life, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, a new society needs to be built. You can't just fucking ignore it. Let's see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Where do I need to go? Oh, yeah, I think I need to go to the hotel and try and... If possible, convince my way past the guards. But I also kind of need to sort of... I essentially need to tell the guy, uh, guy that, yeah, the assassins want you dead. Or I could sneak in those eggs. I think this is the hotel, isn't it? No. Hostel, that's it, the Ministry Hostel, that's the one. Ah, my good friend. What a pleasant surprise to see you here in the glory. Oh, it's him! Fuck. Well, everywhere but here, it seems. Woe is to Minister Shane that the only place available was this filthy dark house. I thought you were supposed to be in the Ministry Hotel. You were not alone in that assumption. It seems it was recently procured and has not been modified for a ministry use yet. Ah. Uh. Remember that the Ministry of Harmony controls executions and taxations. I shudder to think which landed them ownership of this fine establishment. Ah, oh, well. Minister Sheng has not forgotten how you helped him with his troubles in Tian's Landing. Without your efforts, the Great Dam might still be open. Hmm. However, I'm afraid I don't have time to speak with you right now. I have to prepare my report for Judge Pang, by which I mean to watch over this honor gift. Is honor gift? Yes, a valuable offering for the mighty Judge Pang. Without it, he might turn me away before I can even make my report, condemning me to the horrors of Tian's landing forever. <laughs> with this gift, he is certain to appreciate the depth of my admiration and respect. So much so that he might give me a new posting right here in the Imperial City. Understandably, with so much riding on this gift, I am loath to leave it in the care of these Imperial soldiers appointed to watch over me during my visit. The Ministry of Harmony offers pitiful wages, and I do not put much stock in the purchased loyalty of these guards, particularly toward Minister Shane. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you can't give him the poor. What? Ridiculous. Judge Fang is head of the Ministry of Harmony. Minister Sheng is bound by honor and duty to deliver this report to him. No, that's not going to work, is it? No. Not to mention, I've spent a tremendous amount on the honor gift I will present to him. If I don't give him the report, the honor gift is wasted. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, hmm. I just heard the Lotus Assassins don't want Fang to see the report. The Lotus Assassins? I should have known. Judge Fang has spoken out against them one time too often. It was inevitable that they would take action against him. And it is typical of the misfortune that haunts Minister Sheng that I should get caught in the middle of this mess. Woe to Minister Sheng! Unless... Wait. Minister Sheng has a plan. The real problem here is Judge Fang, not me. If he were removed, then Minister Sheng would no longer be in danger. Yeah.
It was just Minister a... Sheng is not suggesting anything. In fact, Minister Sheng wants no part of this at all. I had quite enough of the Lotus Assassins back in Tian's Landing. However, I will point out that if Judge Fang were forced to resign, or if he came to an untimely end, then my report would cease to be an issue. How this could be accomplished, I couldn't say. But at least Minister Sheng would be spared the wrath and fury of the Lotus Assassins. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give it a fang. Thank you, oh great and noble friend. Minister Sheng weeps with relief to hear such news. I have no doubt that you will take care of this in a quick and efficient fashion. Judge Fang is probably over in the arena watching the fights. Not that Minister Sheng said anything about that, of course. Uh-huh. Yeah, so he's here because he doesn't trust these guys to guard Jack Squat. Yeah, I can't even interact with the chest. And to be honest, I don't like the idea of that other guy who's a complete twat. And apparently is such a dege degenerate. Apparently, whatever that means. I hate the term degenerate these days. Because a lot of people use it to mean any kind of fucking thing, don't they? Right, where were we? Ah, uh, da da da. Always best to get these techniques. Uh, does this guy have anything new to buy? I have many items just waiting for you. White demon style. That sounds interesting. This style can complete a harmonic combo. Okay. So it's either white demon style for being slow and ponderous, but in the hands of a true master. It can be one of the deadliest martial arts styles of all. One lacks the crowd pleasing panache of faster styles. White demons sheer power and intimidating techniques blow through opponents like an ogre in a tea house. Oh, funny, that was one mission as an ogre in a tea house. Uh -huh. Purchase it, why not? Yeah, I've got a new style to test out Gem of Unity. Well, if the open palm we can use this gem, yes, this is a, this is definitely uh, useful. Three body, three mind, three spirit. True unity, one must set aside one's enthusiasm and know that all are one. The shared fate in the entire empire matters not that of the individual. The strength and sacrifice of the empire's greatest heroes and powers those who tap into the powers of all. Yes, I think I will. Yeah, brilliant gem of balance. It's more powerful than the one in Unity. Let's sing. Charm. Gem of Unity. There you go. I wish there was somewhere to like practice fighting so I could l try out these styles and then like decide what ones I like or not. The two swords one looks kind of cool after all. Now we need to get rid of that chap without, uh, hopefully without killing him, especially the disgusting reprobate the man appears to be. It'd be good to get rid of him without just wiping off the face of the earth. Deal with this guy. Look, look, we already told you Fang doesn't want to be bothered. He just, yeah, he doesn't get his daily fill of blood. Forget it. I won't go into details about what Fang did to the last guard he caught taking bribes, but restraints, starving dogs, and gravy on certain parts of the body were involved. Ooh. Fang watched the whole thing, laughing all the while, and when it was done, 
He went upstairs with breezes for a little relaxation. <sighs> Gentle breezes. She's Fang's uh, concubine. She's over in the next room with the common folk. Fang doesn't like to be seen with her. He uh, doesn't mind her getting up close and. Hmm. Okay, so bribery isn't gonna work. I thought Jennifer Breeze was in this room, but no, he's she's right here. I'm not really in the mood. Uh, I want you to help me get rid of Fang. Get rid of him? What do you mean? I'll ruin his career. Really? I was hoping you wanted to kill him. The world would be a better place with that disgusting pig dead and buried. True, but if he's fucked over, that's the worst punishment, I surely. To see his bloated corpse floating in the gutter. Fang is a dangerous man, and he keeps my pockets lined with silver. I hope Fang gets what he deserves, but you'll have to do it without my help. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, intuition. With Fang gone, you can finally be free. No. Fuck! Even if I was willing to give up all that silver, if Fang finds out, he'll make sure I spend the rest of my days begging for death. Is 900 silver if you help me. Wow. That is a lot of silver. And I'd love to get out from under Fang's boot heel. Good. I'll help you. You wanted Fang dead, right? <laughs> Inquisitor may not think highly of murdering a high official. No, exactly. No, I just want to ruin him. It'd be easier to kill him. Fang's reputation is already as dirty as it can get. As long as it doesn't get in the way of his job, everybody just turns a blind eye. So what would get in the way of his job? <sighs> well, every document Judge Fang approves has to be stamped with his Imperial Ring. Losing the ring is a major offense. Oh, is it? And if it was revealed he lost the ring during one of his sexual escapades, even Fang wouldn't want that to come out. <laughs> That's it, bring me the ring and uh What are you doing here, Breezes? You no, know I don't like it when people see us together in public. Don't be mad, my mighty and manly Fang. I was just hoping we could go upstairs for a bit. I've got a treat for you. Here's a hint. They're silk. Surprised you're so eager after last night. I'm glad to see you're finally becoming more receptive to my uh, special needs. Yeah. I'll try. Well done, Breezes. If a little tame for my tastes. I think tonight you should wear the blindfold. I have some interesting surprises in store for you. I. I can hardly wait, oh great and virile Fang. Here's the ring. Fang will do anything to keep people from finding out he lost it to a whore. Even <laughs> if resigning his post. Perfect. Give the ring to his guards and they'll let you through. I better disappear for a while, but make sure you tell him where you got it. He'll be sorry he ever touched me. <laughs> Shame about losing the coin, but it's for a good cause in the end. Look, uh, we already took. Yeah. We got fangs and poo ring. Get... No, forget it. I don't want to know. <laughs> you better go talk to Fang about that ring. Yeah, we don't want any part of it. Oh, uh, like, yeah, we're not. We're not getting involved. Some of these new fights can be delightfully savage. Oh, is there anything I can steal? Damn it. Uh, I want more blood down there. Do you mind? How can I enjoy the crack of bone, the screams of pain, and the glorious geysers of crimson blood down in the arena with you bothering me? <laughs> or are you here to offer your services for later? Normally I prefer women who reek of the gutter, but I'm willing to branch out if you beg me. Ugh. I want to resign your post, Fang. Is that so? <laughs> Let me guess. Some sense of moral outrage at my perversions, no doubt. Well, 
Now my tastes are already well known at the Imperial Court. <laughs> Nobody cares about my predilections, as long as I don't let my activities interfere with my duties as a judge. Your activities cost you Imperial Ring. Hmm. My ring? But how? That harlot. I should have suspected something when she came to me willingly. Usually I have to command her presence. Well, it seems you have me in an awkward position. I can't let it be known that I was foolish enough to let a whore steal my ring. I would lose my position. So, what is it you want from me? Silver? An Imperial posting? What? The assistance put you out of the picture. I should have known something like this would happen. They tried to bend me to their will, but I'm not easily broken. Or so I thought. Are you proud of yourself? Bowing and scraping at the feet of your Lotus Assassin masters, helping them to bring me down? I'm going to get my lucky out of office, yes. <laughs> you think I'm an evil man, don't you? You think my soul is rotten and corrupt. But at least I have a soul. The same cannot be said for those you now serve. Mm. The Lotus Assassins destroyed me. But now that I... Keep a close watch over your shoulder, friend. My resignation is on the table. Take it and stamp it with my imperial ring yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Get the fuck out of there. Fucker. Alright, so we've done that, so uh, I think he can't make his report. And uh, let's be honest, somebody else is going to come along and give him a report on the, on the Lotus Assassins being fucking dicks. It gives him a chance to pick someone who's uh, less cho uh, more choosy about their topic, their report. Mm, that said... Definitely cutting him would have been a way of the closed fist. <laughs> yeah, so ways of the closed fist would have been just to kill them and be done with it. speak. I have heard Judge Fang has resigned, but now I live in terror at the thought of who is What if the new head of the Ministry of Harmony hates me even more than Fang? It's possible, you know. Minister Shane is not well liked. Oh, I wonder why. It could be Judge Fong. That would be bad. Or Judge Fang. That would be worse. Or maybe even Judge Fiong. Maybe it'll be you. Alas, Shing is not so delusional as to believe in that outcome. Now, if you don't mind, I would prefer to ponder my fate without your whimsical interruptions. Oh, for God's sake. Yep, yeah, open palm. Please, Minister. What? It could be Judge. Yeah, I couldn't think of a way to get past those guards. I mean, even the idea of stealing the port was uh, something that I thought was below the Assassin's Inquisitor and that. What is that Inquisitor? Should I go back to the dock? Or... Yeah, let's go back to the dock.
He'll probably appear like last time. There we go. Just as I thought. The problem is the shing, and it's a poor thing, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. So, things are looking up. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins. And you've made doubly certain of it by aiding both the Executioner and Inquisitor. Very imp- Everything is in place. I'll have my evidence against Death's hand soon enough. Oh, and you'll have access to your Master Lee. I don't want you to think I have forgotten your needs. <laughs> I'd hope not. Uh, lost that, that, and that. I gained the Lotus Inquisitor Seal. 